Let me just talk about how I chose poorly an outfit. Hi, I'm Nikki Kirk, an RV traveling, Amazon selling, bikini blogger. Welcome to my RV kitchen. This week we got the opportunity to cook for the neighbors who are actually letting us stay in their driveway where mooch docking, I think is what you call it, where we're using their space and my parents' power. Today I'm gonna make scallop potatoes and asparagus with a Bernays sauce. I've already got the potatoes peeled, so I'm gonna make those first. I'm actually doubling the recipe. I think one is enough, but we'll have leftovers. And I might actually make triple the sauce because people like sauce. Let's get started. So first, slice up the potatoes, then we're gonna boil those, and while that's go getting going, I got to grate some cheese for the sauce. Looks good. I'll probably just boil it a lot faster. Well, that one's down. Oh my gosh. Already a mess. Terrified of losing a finger. That one's gonna have to cut. I think I'll be able to boil both batches all together, but we'll see. I guess maybe these are au gratin scalloped potatoes. I've never actually made them before, except for from a box, and I like the ones from a box, so I'm hoping these are much better. The water's boiling, and I got all the potatoes done in two bowls because there was so many. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in. I think they'll all fit in one, but I thought they'd all fit in one bowl. Maybe not. While those boil, let's go ahead and grate the cheese. I technically do have a grater for my food processor, but A, I don't want to do the dishes, and B, I don't know how to use it. It calls for two cups of Gruyere, Gruyere, Gruyere cheese, eight ounces, or two cups. Luckily, I found these little eight ounce wedges already at the store. And I'm not gonna keep these separate, I'm just gonna make them all in one big pan, double it up. Lots of finger injury possibilities with this recipe. Now the Bernays is gonna be really tricky because apparently you can't let it cool. I think I can make the first part of it and then do like the last part at the end. Should be interesting. Did I mention I've never made any of these before? You're seeing it as I'm doing it. One is a lot of cheese. Somebody won't miss that piece. Because I cut them so thin, they're supposed to be a quarter of an inch and I think mine are more like an eighth of an inch. They don't need to boil fully so I'm not super worried about it. That's my eight minute timer. Okay, so these should be done and I will switch them out. So what I should have done is move those ones into this bowl so I could scoop these ones into a bigger bowl. But you know, my mind's a little slow. Potato down. Oh, I never picked up that one, which reminds me, I got potatoes down everywhere. I need to clean up this up. All right, so I got the cheese all shredded and I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce for the top of the potatoes. I gotta chop some garlic. It calls for six cloves because I'm doubling. I'm gonna do 12 because I really like garlic. Oh, probably more than that. And I'm also a fan of these pre-packaged, so I'll do two packs. Actually, I might shred the garlic too. Now this smells delicious. So the last of the potatoes are all softened up. I'm gonna drain that. Let's get to work on the sauce. So it calls for six tablespoons. Again, doubling, so I'm doing 12. Back in my home state, home of Tillamook, the best in anything dairy. So the butter's melted, and after the butter's melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic and then the flour and make the little paste. So this is the best burner in the RV, and because I use it the most, all the, the print is gone, so I don't know how high it is. I just gotta look at the flame. All right, go ahead and add the garlic. Stir three minutes until lightly brown, which is kind of weird, but okay. I can't tell if it's changing colors, but maybe it is. So now I'm gonna add in the cream and the milk, and then the cheese, salt, and pepper. It's gonna be good. So I don't know if there's a difference between heavy cream and heavy whipping cream, but that's all I had at the store. Two cups of milk, and four cups of cream. I hope this all fits. My pan's getting full, and I haven't even added the cheese. Whisk until smooth. Pepper. I don't know how much pepper you're supposed to use, but I like pepper, so I'm using a lot. In goes the cheese. This is gonna be tricky, so I'm not using any. Oh, I just spilled it everywhere. Okay, so the pan is overflowing, and I have a little bit of cheese left, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top after I put them in the dishes. The cheese also does not seem to be melting. So I'm just gonna keep stirring it slowly, and I hope it's supposed to melt, right? Yeah, until cheese is melting, so I'm gonna keep on stirring slowly. Okay, while the cheese continues its melt, I'm gonna go ahead and butter the dishes. I used way too much. That's spilling everywhere, seems to be melted down. Here's my dilemma. Since I doubled it, I can't just pour it in, and all of the, like, cheese is at the bottom, so I feel like the first one is not gonna be as cheesy, but I'll try and scoop it out, yeah. 
So if you're gonna double it, take care. Probably should have done it just this one. Anywho, let's fill these up. I gotta show you the picture of hers. It looks very nice. Nicely arranged. I could probably arrange mine once I get them all in. Who am I kidding? They're gonna look a mess. I'm kind of excited because the cookbook's called A Recipe for Gathering, right? This is the first time gathering. It didn't even take that long. What am I on? Week five? I totally used my Amazon shipping scale to measure out how many potatoes. Because <laughs> it says three pounds, so I used it. Put them all on there. Six pounds. Did you know that I sell on Amazon? That's how I make my living. And it's awesome, and I have some videos, so you can check them out. I have a playlist, I'll link to some of them right here. It was cover up with cheese. It's not much arranging I can do, so they're not gonna be as pretty. So this is how hers look. All beautifully arranged. Uh, you'll see mine. They don't look like that. I hope they're equal parts cheesy. I was able to actually do it. I top with a little bit of the cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside. I'm gonna take them over and bake them at my mom's house and I'm gonna get the asparagus going. Making two recipes was a lot. I'm already second guessing it, but I'm gonna push through. Okay, so I thought I had more time than I really do. People are already over there. I'm gonna quickly do the asparagus. Hopefully it comes out good. I've got the oven going. So tip with asparagus that my grandma taught me, they break where they're ready. So you just snap them. My grandma taught me this when she saw me cutting the ends off one day and she's like, what are you doing? You just snap them. They break where they're ready. That way you don't get that tough part. So now I just gotta chop the shallot real fast and I'll get to work on the Bernays sauce. I only just discovered shallots like maybe four years ago, but I freaking love them. They're delicious. They add so much flavor too. I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce. It's wine, sherry wine vinegar, and shallot. And then later on I gotta do the egg yolks over top, double boiler. So I'm gonna bust this baby open, pour myself a glass to calm my nerves, and then get to work. Oh, this is like grandma and grandpa tips day. So my grandpa was like, why are you taking the thing off? Just stick the thing right through. So that where you would normally like peel it off. Nope, just go on, bust it open. One cup of wine. Let me just do this first. Mm, it's not great. I just bought a cheap one to cook with, so it's good for that. Let me just talk about how I chose poorly an outfit. But all my clothes are dirty and I needed something that was like, because it's hot, we're not hooked up, we have no AC. Anyways, back to business. One cup of wine. So that's supposed to reduce down to about six tablespoons, which is a lot of reduction. So hopefully this speeds up. So I just ran across, checked on the potatoes. Those are still cooking. This sauce is supposed to get to room temperature and then I do the stuff, so I don't know. Folks, we might not be having sauce with it. So the sauce has to cool. Then I gotta make this other part of it with the egg yolks and like whisk it. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because obviously this needs to cool so it doesn't cook the eggs and I don't think I have enough time. So I am gonna go ahead and season the asparagus and call it a day. Alright, so one of the dishes of potatoes are gone. My dad just told me that they're delicious, the best potatoes he's ever had. And I was like, but you make scalloped potatoes. And he said, yeah, but not like this. I guess they're a winner.